Welcome to another episode of Torrington Collective Weekly Update. I'm Ethan S. Brewerton. I'm Rana Trine Justice. And I'm Steph Burr. So what happened last week? Well, Thursday we had Open My Comedy, as, as usual, and we also had the art show at Social House. That's right. That well, was actually awesome. Yeah, a bunch of local artists, a bunch of artists just from Connecticut. A bunch of artists from Torrington Collective. That's true. We had Ethan S. Brewerton, we had Maddie Stenson, we had... Steph Burr. We had uh, a lot of other awesome local artists, uh, Jamie Tilly, mm -hmm. who we'll talk more about later in the show. Spoilers. Spoiler, Spoiler alert. alert. Yeah, sure. so it was a great time to actually meet new artists and, you know, socialize with some people downtown. It was really, it was really cool. And right. thanks to Dave Garcia at Social House for putting that all together. It made a nice flyer. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very professional. So thanks, Dave, for yeah. supporting local artists. Yeah. It looked awesome. Looking forward to the next one. Yeah. Definitely. And then Friday, Five Points had their artist talk yes. where we got a little bit of insight on the Silly Putty stuff. And if you were there, you can find out what that was. Um, also, at Social House on Friday, there was a Ronnie Reed's comedy show. That's right. And it looked packed. It, it was packed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad it was a great turnout for their first comedy show ever, so that means there's probably going to be more. So Nolke had a show. We had Freak Folk. It was awesome. It was put together by Dan Deutsch, if that's how you say his name. He's a, he's a drummer of Portrait Party, Little Sluggers, and I think some other things, but he brought in a bunch of bands. We had semaphora they all had like little animal hats um and their music was like it, i don't even know how to describe it it was like super like funky and groovy it's funky and groovy like i wish i had my bell bottoms on i was like wanting to disco um and then dr catterwall's cadre of clairvoyant claptraps that was like speaking to my inner hippie dancing vibe like i was just really feeling it they it was like extended solos and jams it was my flavor um, and then Little Sluggers, they were just fantastic, awesome. Um, they had really good chorus lines that just like had you grooving along with them. Everybody was kind of jammy, like, the whole thing. It was so yeah. jammy. And then uh, Olive Tiger was here and she performed solo. And she has, she played guitar and cello and she's a loop artist. So her music, um, usually she, she has a full band, but uh, her music is more like folk, chamber, pop, indie, with electronica involved. It's really awesome and it blew my mind and I just, I really can't wait to check out more of her music. Yeah, and she's got this really sick video on YouTube right now which you should actually check out. It's pretty sick. There's also, what was it up with the Poetry on Demand thing? Oh my god, yeah, the Poetry on Demand was like the highlight of the evening. We had Connor Ryan from Woozles, um, or at I Type Dumb Things, which is funny because they're not dumb at all. It's probably the best poetry I've ever read. But he was set up in the window at Nolke with a typewriter. And basically, you can just go up to him, have a conversation. And between the small conversation you have with him, he's going to write you a poem. And I guess the coolest part is that Olive Tiger actually got a poem typed up for her and she's actually turning it into a song. Amazing. Like, that's the type of magic that we're really striving for at Nolke Gallery. And then we move into Saturday, right? Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Bear yeah. Skeleton, right? Yeah, Nolke again. We had Bear Skeleton comedy. Yeah, that was hilarious. There was a bunch of really great comedians. Yeah, they, they really hit their mark. They, like, they nailed it. Mo Musa stole the show. Stole the show. He was hilarious. MVP. MVP of Bear Skeleton. A uh, lot of other funny comedians, too. Yep, Paul Kilmer. He's a magician and a comedian, which was, like, really cool. That was, I really loved that bit as well. And then uh, we had Caitlin. She drove all the way up from Brooklyn. That was So that was great. She was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then we spontaneously went to Bohemian Pizza where we caught a band. It was packed there, that's for sure. And we got to look at some cute fish. Yeah, look at those fish. <laughs> I wanted to jump in that tank. Ugh. I know, it looks gross, <laughs> but like the idea of it just seemed good at the time. But the band Solar Bear, they were really, uh, they were killing it. It was awesome. Now we're on to this week. Thursday. <laughs> Open my comedy. As, as usual. 
and Friday. Friday, <laughs> Friday S&J Cafe is having a karaoke DJ. So yep. karaoke's your thing. Go check that out. Where is that? It's on the bottom of Funston Ave. On the, it's a Funston and High Street. Uh, Used to be called Big City Joe's. <laughs> and Saturday is that social house show that we've been hyping. So, uh, Such Gold is coming with uh, Old Bones, The Receivers, Real Love, and Jared Kanapik. It's a $15 bill, but totally worth it. All these bands are just going to like blow you out of the water. Is that a saying people that is, say? That is what people say, yes. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. <laughs> Sunday back to Nolke, right? Oh, Sunday is going to be great at Nolke because Speakeasy Poetry is returning, and it's also the three-year anniversary, and we have CT Poet Laureate margaret gibson as the guest reader and so it's just it's gonna be a really great evening big night um you can always sign up for open mic poetry that night as well so 6 30 is sign ups and then the show starts at seven um but also a side note o'connor's trivia is every wednesday so keep that on your calendar because we got trey trivia trey with trivia he's a blast he's funny he starts is. at eight o'clock i love it which I guess leads us into next week because Wednesday we got trivia <laughs> and Thursday's open mic yeah, as usual. As usual. And then what's after that? Uh, Friday, Nolke's got a show. We actually have touring band Proper Punctuation, um, which is like, uh, I would say like acoustic folk punk ish, I think. It's, it's going to be awesome. But then we also have returning locals Dr. Martino and big fang and we might add one other person to the show so stay tuned but that be march 6th at nolke 7 p.m as usual five dollars come on down we're in the shout outs shout outs who are we gonna shout out this week do we have any shout outs no mm. oh shout out to squace shout, shout out to squace, to squace. <laughs> shout out to this squace that i dropped today yeah I, um Shout out to this awesome pizza squeeze that mm. I received the other day. All right, so artist of the week, we ready, guys? Ready. Mm -hmm. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Jamie J. Tilly. Woo! Woo! He is the man. So he was actually at the art show at Social House. Yeah, where Steph got this book. Yes. So this oh. is a book of Jamie Tilly's paintings. He's an amazing photographer, but he also had a period of time where he did full-time painting, and they're just incredible. They are very incredible. <laughs> um, we'll show more of it here <laughs> on the screen. Um, yeah, dude, I I love his work. I love the different colors and the textures. That dog is definitely my favorite. Or is that a cow? It's a cow. All right. Yeah, I love all the fun colors. Oh, wow. yes. That is like... That is the stuff. That's the squeeze. Fair for saw squeeze. Mm. And he's also a photographer. He takes awesome pictures. He moved here from Portland, Oregon. Um, mm -hmm. And now he's taking pictures around Torrington. And we're yeah. happy to have him. He's a cool dude. He's got a cool jacket. <laughs> I love seeing his posts and then trying to identify where that is in Torrington. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He should have a fun segment of, like, where is this? True. Yeah. It's like, where where in Torrington is Jamie J. Tilly? We're going to do that. That's going to add. That's gonna be our new segment. Cool. Where in the world is Jamie J. Tilly? Actually, let's do it right now. So here's a picture from Jamie's Instagram. Now, you have to comment below exactly where this is in town. And if you do, you win all the squace. All the squace. All the squace. Yeah, we got some good squace for you. We've been saving it up. <laughs> Ooh, squish. <laughs> so comment below where you think this is in town. Yeah. So if there's anything that you think that we should talk about or that you just want us to know, you can contact us at torrentoncollective at gmail.com for next week's show. Also, we should probably thank our Patreon supporters. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, how do I live with that? <laughs> 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 this has been another episode of the Torrington Collective Weekly Update. <laughs> I'm Ethan S. Brewerton. I'm Ronatron Justice. And I'm Steph Burr. Woo! Thank you! See you again! Another time! Jeez. <laughs>